Creatine is famous for building muscle, but here's the surprise. It may also be one of the most underrated nootropics out there. Something that can sharpen your mind and clear up mental fog. Let's be honest. When you hear creatine, you probably think of gym bros, protein shakes, and muscle pumps. But this story is different. In this video, we're diving into what creatine does for your brain and why you might want to take it even if you never step foot in a gym. What is creatine, really? Creatine is a compound your body makes from amino acids. You also get it from meat and fish. Inside your body, creatine helps generate ATP, the energy currency your cells use to function. And here's the twist. 5% of your total creatine isn't in your muscles. It's in your brain. Now that 5% might not sound like a lot, but your brain is constantly demanding energy. Roughly 20% of your total body's output. It never rests. So when your brain's energy reserves dip, your focus, memory, and processing power dip with it. That's where creatine can help. The Cognitive Case for Creatine Studies show that creatine supplementation improves working memory, intelligence tasks, and mental stamina. One trial had participants go 24 hours without sleep. The ones who took creatine before the sleep deprivation performed significantly better on all cognitive tests. Other research suggests that vegetarians and older adults who usually have lower creatine levels benefit the most. And there's emerging data linking creatine to mood support, brain aging protection, and faster mental recovery under stress. Who benefits the most? Let's simplify it. Students and knowledge workers. You're mentally grinding all day? Creatine might give your brain an edge. Sleep-deprived folks. Parents, shift workers, or all-nighter warriors can buffer that mental drop. Vegans and vegetarians, your diet lacks creatine sources. Supplementation can close the gap. Older adults, age is equal to less energy metabolism in the brain. Creatine helps plug that drain. When does it kick in? Creatine is not caffeine. You won't feel an instant buzz. But over a few days or weeks, you may notice less brain fog, sharper recall, more mental endurance. Some report clearer thinking after just three to five days. Others notice it during periods of intense mental demand, like exams or high pressure work. Dosing and consistency. You don't need anything fancy. Just three to five grams per day of creatine monohydrate is enough. No need to load or cycle. Just take it daily. Mix it in your water, smoothie, or coffee. Timing isn't critical. Consistency is. Is it safe? Yes. Creatine is one of the most studied supplements in the world. Dozens of long-term trials confirm it's safe for healthy individuals. Side effects? Rare. Some people report mild bloating or stomach discomfort, but this often resolves by splitting the dose. And no, it doesn't damage your kidneys. That's a persistent myth. The increase in creatine on blood tests isn't harmful. It's just a byproduct. Quick break to say thank you here. You're clearly into evidence-based strategies to upgrade your mind and body. But here's a stat. Over 80% of our viewers aren't subscribed. If you enjoy deep dives like this, please hit the subscribe button and like the video. It helps this content reach more people. People like you who want to level up using real science. Isn't creatine just for gym bros? Nope. That's outdated thinking. Creatine helps with high energy output, whether it's lifting weights or solving problems. Whether you're an athlete or analyst, your brain and muscles both crave ATP, and creatine helps you make more of it. Researchers are even looking at creatine as a potential treatment for depression, Parkinson's, and traumatic brain injury. We're still early in that research, but it's clear the brain benefits are real. Creatine stacks well with caffeine. It boosts alertness, safe to combine, L-theanine, smooths out energy spikes, B vitamins, help with cellular metabolism. Want a smoother day at work or study? Creatine might be your simplest upgrade. Non-responder? Some people don't feel anything from creatine. This could be because they already eat a lot of red meat. Their brain isn't under much energy stress. Their baseline levels are already saturated. But for most people, especially vegetarians, vegans, students, and older adults, the benefits are noticeable. So, what did creatine do for me? After a month of consistent use, I noticed less fog during long work days, faster recall in conversations, more mental stamina late into the night. When I stop taking it, I feel it. Is it a magic pill? No, but it's affordable, safe, and surprisingly effective. 
If your brain feels sluggish or you want more cognitive horsepower, this could be a game changer. Thanks for watching. Stay sharp, stay strong, and as always, have a good one.